Hey guys, hey guys, this is an impromptu stop here. We are way up in Grand Portage. Way, way up here in Grand Portage. Um, there's some sort of national monument here we're going to check out. But we're, uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I think I probably just took the wrong turn here because we're going through the casino parking lot. We're going to figure this out. We're going to figure it out together. It's a national monument. It's for everybody. So we're going to check it out. So we are um, on the, the U.S.-Canadian border. I'm going to see if I can't find the gate um, or the bridge that drives into Canada. But I want to kind of cruise around over here. So we are still on Lake Superior, guys. Let's see if I can uh, show you that. Uh, now you can't really see it. It's on the other side of that hotel, that casino. It's like a nice little casino. I didn't even know that there was one up here. It is on uh, reservation land, though. Um, and I'm sure it's incredibly nice. But I want to take a... Uh, see if I can't figure this out here. The, yep, the National Monument is to the right. And there's a Marina RV park over here. It looks like a, a really nice gas station. I think we're gonna stop and pick up some gas uh, before we gotta leave and then uh, find one of them awesome. All right, so the, oh, all right, there's the RV park. Let's go ahead and just check it out for the heck of it. Let's just check it out. I don't like RV parks and this doesn't look like any kind of an exception to the rule, in my opinion. I'm just not a, I'm just not a, uh, put me in like a, I'm just not an RV park, guys. Uh, you can go to a state park and save a, a boatload of money, and you get privacy, and you can get hookups. But if RV parks is your thing, you at least get to check this out. So this is Lake Superior, Grand Portage. Looks like there's, let's just cruise on over this way. Let's cruise all the way around this bad boy. Check it out. So we are on the Canadian, U.S. Canadian border. And uh, a whole lot of fishing. A lot of fishing. Let's see if we can't walk by somebody's bucket of crappie and snag one out of there and have us a shore lunch. And I'll just say, I got my fishing license. Just playing. Just playing, but look at it. It's a pretty cool uh, landing right there. Really cool landing. This is beautiful. You know, guys, I've always wanted to. Uh, and there's a marina there. I'm sure that's where you can get all your goodies. I've always wanted a, a trawler. Like if I had a trawler, I would I would want I would want to live aboard it. I really would. No lies. So here's that RV park better angle. I just, uh, it just doesn't do anything to me. Unless you're just here to fish and that this is, you know, uh, nice and convenient, whatever, and inexpensive, I don't know. Um, I just, I'd rather stay at a state park. And there's probably, there's probably uh, 50 of them around here. State Park would uh, be the only place I'd want for like uh, hookups and that. Because <laughs> you still get the, uh, you know, you still get the privacy. So we're looking for the this um, this national monument because it is for everybody, except for Canada. It ain't for you, Canada. Just just playing, just playing. I love the Canadians. Love Canada. Especially, I love their maple syrup and bacon. Oh, and definitely uh, their comedies. They got some fantastic comedies out of there. And comedians, and musicians, and everything else. Absolutely beautiful country. It's so much like ours. All right, so Grand Portage National Monument. Okay, where is it? All right, I think it's down here a little bit. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of people on the road. Oh, what do we got there? Huh, is that it? All right, that's the exit. See, so with this, let's see what this says. I got there ain't nobody here. Grand Porch National Monument Heritage Center and Historic Site Parking. Let's check this out. Ooh, 
that's cool. That's cool. I don't know. I don't know if we can go down this road a little bit further. Let's check it out. That's still Lake Superior, guys. Look at that beautiful bay. Oh, I think that's the Canadian border. That is the Canadian border right there. Let me go ahead and back this bad boy up. I ain't got my pass. I, got, I do have my uh, enhanced driver's license, but um, I don't know. Oh, oh man, I'm just uh, messing up here, guys. wake gypsy up and go check this all out so we are at the border I don't want to run into anybody out of Ontario Minnesota Ontario and we just going to park right over here kind of a small spot how dirty my truck is. A lot of that is still Arizona. There's dust and dirt everywhere. I gotta, I gotta square this truck up. It's driving me crazy. All right, we're gonna try to keep this simple. I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try to keep this simple. All right, we gotta get the. Uh, oh, Gypsy's already ready to go, which is awesome. Got her collar on her and leash and all that good, all that jazz. So we're going to walk over here, take a look at this uh, this area. Come on, Gypsy, look how pretty she is. She's been such a good girl too. I know, I know y'all hear me complain about her because she's just so unruly at times. Um, she's just a puppy, and we're working through all that. This is what everybody loves about her. Look, she does this every. You guys have seen her do this her whole life for the last six months. As soon as you put that uh, that leash on her, she just grabs it and takes me for a walk. I think it's cute as ever. All right, so we're in Grand Portage, the northernmost part of Minnesota. Right on the other side of that gate that I showed you is Ontario, Canada. So let's just get out of the way so we don't uh, get run over. That, I think I saw a sign over here I want us to all take a look at. <laughs> she's so darn cute. Look at that. Look at that goofy. Gypsy. Take your show. She's like, oh, I'm done. You got a camera on me. I'm done. Gypsy, what's that? Oh, you guys should have seen this really, really cute toy that I got her. Oh, she's got, she, she wants me to show you guys the rest of this. That, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. That wonderful parking lot. All right, let's go take a look. Let's go see what we can find. I've never been this far. Uh, um, I've never, I've never gone up here. Never. I mean, I've heard a bunch about it. So let's see what this says. It's a Grand Portage geology. Uh, the rocks that can be seen in this area formed at two distinct times in the ancient past. Most abundant are the gray, green shell and sandstone. That's kind of, um, that pretty much takes up most of Minnesota, to be honest with you. Um, let's see what this is. The historic Partnership. Okay, hey, this is fantastic. This way I can show you guys where we're at, okay? Um, <coughs> so, here's the Pigeon River. God. <laughs> and uh, we are right here. This obvious uh, um, is Lake Superior, and in here, uh, let's see, Grand Portage, let's see, Fur Trade Depot, reconstructed Ojibwe. Okay, I was wondering, um, so it is Ojibwe, and then it is a part of the Canadian uh, Minnesota Ojibwe uh, tribe. Here's uh, all of Lake Superior, or Lake Superior, and this is that Highway 61 that we've been going on. Uh, Grand Marais way down there. Uh, holy mackerels. Gypsy's about to go nuts. <laughs> I 
Hey guys. Hello. 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 Hello.
she's doing so good though i mean it just sounds crazy some of the simple simple things just like getting into the vehicle by herself she just she knows i opened that door walk her up to it she just jumps right in let's see if we can do it again come here come here come here okay come on, come on honey let's give this a try Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Couldn't ask for a better day. Feels like it's about 72, 73 degrees. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Come here. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on, Jiffy. Come on. I know you probably don't want to go back in there already, huh? All right, this is going to be a little difficult this time. We'll try it again the next time. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Bye.